Hello again. Today's video will be on adding your own images and how to properly name and save your images. I recently had a call from a customer who had scanned in a large number of first day covers and inventoried them in uh, EasyStamp. She had noticed that sometimes the wrong image would appear and called us for help. It turns out that she had placed her images in many different folders and she had used the exact same name as the supplied image provided in EasyStamp. That would cause a conflict. We were able to remote into her PC and quickly fix things up for her, but I decided I would create this video to show others how to properly name and save your images in the proper locations and avoid this kind of issue. So let's begin by first looking where EasyStamp uh, stores its images. So EasyStamp, when you install it, will go into a folder called SoftPro 2010 EasyStamp 8 Images. And then for every country that you have, you'll have a folder for that country. And then there will be several uh, subfolders underneath that. So for the USA, you'll see a folder named 2, 3, and 4. And these would be for the, uh, the second, third, and fourth images, supplied images. The FTC folder is where the supplied first day cover images are located. And then there is a UFDC, which is the user's first day cover um, uh, location. And this is where you would place your images if you wanted to scan them. So if you had US first day covers, we recommend that you place them in the UFDC folder. For today's video, I'll be discussing FTC images, but the same principles apply to other images of singles or PNCs, etc. The first rule to remember is when you are saving your, all, your images, always precede the image with the name My, such as My123 or My124. This is important so that you do not override the supplied images provided with EasyStamp. So let's do a few examples. So for this Scott number 900, let's attach a first day cover image to the record. So we simply right click on the image to bring up the image link window. Since we are adding first day cover images, let's select the FDC button, which is over here. If we had it on the image one, that's the supplied image, but we're not replacing the single. We're actually going to add a first day cover image. So we click on FDC image here. Now we can paste the image from the clipboard or load it from disk. I will show you both. First, let's paste one from the clipboard. I'll switch to easy image where I have uh, several images uh, already scanned. So here's um, an image for number 900, a first day cover. So the way to load it into uh, the clipboard is you do a control A to select everything and then control C which actually places it in the uh, clipboard. And we switch back and we just click on paste. So now that image will be saved for this uh, particular Scott number. We would provide it with an Im um, image name, so I'll call it My900, and then you would just click Save. And what I'll do is I'll show you the second method now, which is to load it from disk. So to load it from disk, you click on Browse, and in this particular instance, it's already pointing to the USA FTC folder. If, we, if it wasn't pointing there, you would just click on Change Path, and then you would just navigate to that particular folder which is right here so you would select that and there it is so I've already scanned in and saved that image and I've named them my so there it is there and now you click Save so there it is so now we've attached this first day cover image to this Scott number let's do one more let's do uh, number 902 so if I want to attach a first day cover image to this I right click on the image Make sure I'm pointing to the FTC image, click on Browse, and then I choose the image I want to attach, click OK, and Save, and that's it. Let's do one more. So here's an instance where there is a pre-supplied image. So we have already scanned a first day cover image for uh, Scott number 1004, but you may have a different uh, cache. So you right click on it, you go to Browse, Select your image and save it. So now your image will show. 
Again, we recommend that you save your first day cover images in the UFDC folder under the country where you're, you are working. This will prevent uh, you overwriting um, our, our supplied images. Although if you do name them as my123, etc., they will not collide with our images as we never precede our images with the word my. But a cleaner way is to keep your first day cover images separate by placing them in the UFTC folder. I'll also show you one more thing related to first day cover images. Easy Stamp allows you to store up to five uh, different images for any record. And you can set this in the Options uh, Preferences menu like this. So you go to Options, Preferences, and you click on Images. And there are several things that you want to do here. The first day cover image mode, I always like to set it so that first day cover image is always last, as you can see here. And if you do use more than one image, you have an option of just showing the single, uh, two, three, or uh, all four. And I like to use linear four across, four down. That way you'll always see your first day cover images along with the single. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Bye for now.